So I've just finished work for the day. Gonna try something new. Gonna go and try and find this new city map of bus they've launched. So I'm looking for a little green mini bus and its route number is CMX1. I just checked the city mapper website to look at smart bus and I'm getting an internal 500 error. That's not a good sign, but hopefully the buses are still working. Um, I think the app is, so when I get closer I can check the bus stop. So I found the bus stop that looks like it is on the actual CMX1 route, but the city map, map doesn't really actually have any data information. Of well. I've just found and seen the bus, but I'm not on it. So I need to work out where the next one stops. Um, Emma just sent me a map showing where they should be, but there's one of the buses now, little thing. Made it on board. <laughs> what did you hear about it? Through the app or? Um, yeah, through the app, and I just um, I, I got an email from my girlfriend saying she's really? about it. Yeah, so so she's one, she's a bus driver in London. So. Oh, cool. So that's kind of right. ideal, basically. Yeah. Now it's around seven, yeah, seven in each way. It's just perfect because the whole route takes about 20 minutes, a bit more. Yeah, you just see it from the street? Uh, no, no, no. I'll take it in the Oh, great, great. And is this, so this is running for two days. And yes. are you going to, I don't know what you can tell me, but are you going to be running something um, in the near future? You know, in general, we definitely want to do more experiments and, and more things, so that's just the start, basically. What should a smart bus do? Yeah. And uh, we're, we're kicking off the conversation by trying the tech out and building the tech and improving upon it as we're so riding besides, around. Besides the GPS, what other techs in the on here and we use them for a <laughs> <laughs> Good question. So, I mean, um, first and foremost, I think a lot of the uh, tech that you don't see is actually the tech that's really important to figure out. Yeah. And like optimizing drivers, and optimizing vehicles, making sure that the vehicles are equidistant and that you have a good frequency on the service and, and all that. And that's been a lot of the stuff that we've been trying out. Just because I know you guys do some multi-mode stuff in your app itself. Yep. Like, yep. So like for stops that, you know you're approaching a train station. Yep. Yep. Start to show like the next train platforms or the next train time. Actually, uh, you, you, uh, if you look at the screen, at the places where we're connecting to the tube, you'd see the service yeah. um, uh, yeah. service. Uh, of the tube and whether it's uh, disrupted or whether it's good service. Yeah. Okay. Um, um, thank you. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Thanks for using nice it. Thanks. Yeah, likewise. Thank right, you. Nice. Nice What's your name? Take care. Take care. Cheers. Thank you. Oh, yeah. oh, There goes the city map of bus in the background. Um, I guess that was quite an interesting, I guess it's a travel adventure and a new type of bus here in London.